welcome Mr. Ryan Long to the stage, everybody. Ryan! Yeah, hey, best friends forever. <laughs> just two. Uh -huh. Actually, I went to a Leaf game yesterday. It's just a kiss cam is not nearly long enough for me to come. Uh, <laughs> just getting started, they switched the cop. We were like, who are these two? I'm gonna give them a backstory. Uh, I actually just took an Uber here, and the Uber driver farted in the cab. <laughs> and then turned up the music. <laughs> He's trying to cover the smell with the sound. The smell in here, I don't know, it's too loud. <laughs> then last week my buddy came out and clogged my toilet and wouldn't admit it, it was only the two of us there. He's like, it wasn't me. And I'm like, what are you, shaggy? Like, I know that it wasn't me, because I'm me. And he looked at me, he's like, well, maybe you forgot. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? As if I took such a big shit that I blacked out. <laughs> Just woke up. Where the fuck am I? Whose clog is this? You ever clog a toilet? Oh yeah, this guy's confident. Hell yeah, this guy's like, fuck yeah, I took down two Starbucks this week. Walk away in slow motion as the pipes explode. <laughs> Dad was a clogger, my grandfather was a clogger. Clog life. This is kind of like a weird story out of the game, but I just saw my family. So two years ago, my uncle died, and then we didn't tell my grandmother because she was about to die, and then she didn't die. <laughs> so now it's just a secret in the family that her son's dead. <laughs> That's making sense to you guys. <laughs> Literally, she be like, where is he? And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I know what to say the other day. She's like, where is Mike? He never visits me anymore. And we just have to be like, that piece of shit. <laughs> He is dead to us. <laughs> Never speak his name again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, little about me, I'm against gay marriage. Um, <laughs> that's where I take it. No, guys, I'm kidding. I'm just old fashioned. I think marriage would be between a man and his child bride, and that's just how I was raised. So my dad did it, and that's. <laughs> no, is there any. Phil was talking about this. Is there any gay people in the crowd? Just here, a couple of us, and then the rest of us are going to heaven. Um, now, my brother is actually gay. Well, he was gay. We killed him for the Lord. Um, I, I actually do have gaydar. I can tell if you're gay. What I do is I suck your dick, and if I taste poo, I know. Um, reported the authorities. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, we got one. I remember my brother thought my dad would care that we came out of the closet, told him, but then my dad just gave him a hug and whispered into his ear, gay. So, uh, deals with it differently. Gay people have the most sex, though. That's, I think that proves that, yeah, it's true. Gay guys have the most sex, which it proves to me that guys are hornier than girls. But, uh, ladies, this is 2019. Clap if you think girls can be just as horny as guys. Right. Well, they can, but I just want everyone to know where the hoes are at. Uh, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. <laughs> Uh, so it's just... <laughs> it is true though, gay guys with the most sex, straight people love the second most, then lesbians have the least sex at zero because you need a penis for sex. Um, <laughs> well, why would two lesbians eat each other at a sex pool when I had a girl out in high school and told everyone I fucked her, I'm a liar. <laughs> is it because I didn't wait for her to wake up? Because to me, it feels more like a double standard. <laughs> Actually, I had to go to my uh, uh, girl's, uh, her like, high school reunion, which sounds shit, until you realize at a high school reunion you could just pick any person and act like they bullied you. <laughs> just pick a guy and be like, well, well, well. <laughs> Not so fat anymore, huh? Piece of shit. I have a friend who's actually in a progressive relationship. He's getting married and he's going to take his wife's last name, but he wants her to take his first name. Like, they're both going to be Doug Smith. Um, <laughs> 2020 thing, I believe. He will be breastfeeding that child as well. It's 50-50. <laughs> girls in 2019 say they want guys to be emotional. Girls are like, oh, I want you to cry. Well, girls don't tell you if you cry, she'll break up with you. Uh, how do you guys know this, but men's tears actually form a river for a real man to surf in and fuck your girl. Uh, 
That's just science right there. <laughs> they don't want that girl going to fight and shit. I remember my ex used to give me a fight at bars. We went to a bar once, and she pushed a guy, and then the guy slapped her, and she's like, you better take this guy outside. I'm like, you don't even fucking mind. This guy just slapped a girl in public. Can you imagine what he'll do to me in private? <laughs> this is a maniac. I ain't fucking involved with that. I get why it's hard to be a girl. Like, I don't know. Like, I was reading an article that was saying every girl needs to put a coaster on her drink because all these celebrities are day raping. And David Blaine, the magician, was putting pills in drinks. And I was like, okay, sorry to burst your bubble, but if the number one magician in the world wants to put a pill in your drink, I don't know what difference a coaster <laughs> is going to make in this situation. I mean, David Blaine could be day raping all of us right now from a different country, and there's nothing nobody could do about it. You'd all just wake up in the morning and cough out the condom. Just, what the fuck? <laughs> it's attached to another condom. They just keep coming. <laughs> the end of it's a consent form that you signed. Just plain. <laughs> Do you remember 10 years ago when there was like real problems? Remember 10 years ago, they'd be like, this Ethiopian kid hasn't eaten in 10 years. You're like, oh my God. Now they're like, we need more Asian movie stars. You're like, I have a trouble giving a fuck. Uh, about the new problems. <laughs> Less James Bond, more James Wong. You're like trying to care. Um, Ethiopian kids like still starving to death. <laughs> You'll get your food when the government uses tax dollars to pay for tits on a man. Uh, <laughs> By the way, Loki, wouldn't like a doctor that's like a dick cutter off or doctor be like a pretty sick job for like hardcore feminist that really hates men? Like if. <laughs> Follow me on this. If you really hate men, wake up in the morning just lopping off hogs. When you love what you do, that's the dream. Never work a day in your life, just cop them off, put them in the trash. Fuck men, are you kidding me? Just have two containers. People didn't come in for that. I came for enlargement. Like, fuck it. I need my mouth. Kobayashi training for a hot dog eating competition. Two at a time, down the hatch, slicing off the patriarchy. It's up to you guys, man. I actually read a stat recently that was saying uh, India apparently has the highest levels of domestic violence, but then I read a second stat that said India has the highest levels of wives misbehaving, so I don't know, it's sort of like a chicken and egg situation. By the way, I'm allowed to make race jokes, actually. I'm mixed race, I'm half Irish, half English, so... Um, <laughs> Super chill. <laughs> There's like two types of white people right now. There's like, white people were the worst, or white people were the best. Neither is good. Uh, I'm the first one. I, I hate white people. I actually have a group whites against whites. There's no blacks allowed. Uh, it's just me and 12 white people yelling at each other. You're the problem, Todd. You're the problem, Jack. <laughs> hey, no blacks. You know the rules. What are you, Italian? We'll allow it. <laughs> I'm not religious, like I haven't read the Bible or the Koran or the Jew Koran. Um, I do make my girl wear a burger, we're not religious, she's just gross. Um, cover that up. Make her give her hand jobs in it. It's a jerk. Now listen, they're not all good jokes. I like Jewish the best religion, because their Bible's really wishy-washy how to get into heaven. You just have to sort of lawyer your way in. Like that. <laughs> Makes sense. Like, certain Orthodox Jews, they're like, you can't touch, like, electricity, but they just hire people to do it for them. <laughs> As if God's like, hey, you can't do that. Oh, well played. Two heavens for you. <laughs> Catholics do that with, like, no sex before marriage, but they're like, but if we fuck in the ass, it's cool, right? Uh, pr probably. That's probably how it works. You get to heaven, God's like, you can't get in, you had sex before marriage, here's the picture, and you're like, zoom in on that photo, God. <laughs> That's an ass fuck! Get the hell in here! Get in here, enjoy knocking on heaven's back door! Oh, you can fuck ass in heaven, no poo. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm Ryan Long, have a good night, peace. <laughs>